Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm about to feed my fish right here in my tank. <laughs> Got some fish food. Anyways, uh, yeah, the purpose of the video today is I, I wanted to explain to people or just inform people the cost of uh, good farmland in Thailand. I guess specifically Canton Abri region, the region that I'm in. And um, so last year during COVID, I had bought um, this land that I have my drain farm on. But the cost of land varies and it, and it all depends on, you know, how good your land is, you know, what percentage of it is tillable, meaning that uh, how much of your land can you use? And when I mean tillable, run a tractor through it. If you got a lot of rock and that, you're gonna have to deduct that from your land as a percentage. And uh, here's my tractor behind me and I just, Mowed the lawn this morning, down the rows again, something we do all the time. You know, the, the tops ain't ready yet for my guys that come out and do the tops. But uh, anyways, uh, there's some land around here that I'll tell you some prices on, and I'll tell you what I paid for mine, uh, my land right here, so, which is 100% tillable. The land behind me, big cornfield, about 30 rye, the guy's trying to sell that. But anyway, so if you're looking to grow an a orchard, and you're looking to grow land, there's some things you want to look at, okay? Uh, first of all, you want to, if you're going to grow a durian farm, the type of dirt that you're looking for is sandy loam. They love sandy loam dirt, okay? And most fruit trees like a sandy loam, which is kind of like a river bottom type of uh, soil, you know, ancient river bottoms. But this, uh, we're right next to River Kwai. I'm, I don't know, half a kilometer down the road here. We got the River Kwai. So... If you're looking for farmland, you're looking to retire here, you know, definitely look for a sandy loam type of soil. And you don't really want to be on hills and mountains, guys. You know, if you can get something relatively flat or a little slope to it, that's ideal. That's what you want to be with. That's what we've got here. And um, and you want to check the pH. Before you get down into it and you're going to, you know, make an offer and you're going to pull the checkbook out, make sure you uh, check the pH of the soil. So. Tulian like to be right around 6.2, 6.5, you know, in that range. Uh, depending on what you're growing, what you want to grow, check what the ideal pH should be for the soil. So you want to do that. And uh, with my farm here, we've got a well. And so we had to dig down, uh, I don't know, about 25 meters to get, get to water. And we've got a good pH with our water too. So you got to check the water. If there's existing land with a, with a well, adjacent to the land you want to buy or if that land you want to buy does have a well check the ph on it very important okay otherwise if you got hard water or whatnot a lot of these uh, a lot of these farms have hard water or or irony water water and it's just horrible and your trees won't grow good so you want to check that too so once you uh, check all those boxes and all is good then go forward and make your purchase but uh in my area you know what you should pay really depends on i, I think um Again, with all those qualities I just explained to you, but then also, you know, how willing the person is willing to sell their land. Uh, for example, behind me here, I bought this. Uh, these are two parcels of land that I had bought. Um, both the both the gentlemen wanted to sell it. At the time of a COVID pandemic, I paid four hundred twenty thousand per bot. They were asking over six hundred. They wanted close to seven hundred for it, but you know, cash talks when people are strapped, right? So. Ended up getting both these lots here. It's a little bit over 10 rye, but it only charged me for 10. But combined, the deal came out to about 4.2 million baht. So that was a good deal. <laughs> fantastic, uh, fantastic deal. I've been trying to buy this land right here, this, this banana field behind me. That's another five rye. Eventually, I will buy it. Um, I've offered a guy 450, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, I have made a deal with this rubber tree farm right behind us there. See that rubber tree farm adjacent to our farm here? So I'm buying six more rye of that and I'm paying 500,000 baht per rye. Now it's a little bit of a premium, but still much cheaper than uh, what other people have, have sold land for in this area. Typically in this area, there's there's land selling for a million, a million plus per rye. Really good land. So uh, I, I think I'm getting a great deal. So here in Canchanabri, you know, if you can pick something up around 500, especially in my area, then you're good to go. If you're looking to buy some land, 
and that uh, field behind me, that durian field there, it's actually 26 rye. I'm only buying six of it, and he's got 20 more for sale, and it's got good frontage road. So that's another reason why I'm buying it. Location's great. And I forgot to mention that. Your location of your land's good, too. If you got to drive on a dirt road getting back to where you're going, uh, think again, man. Rainy season is really tough. You want to have a good pavement road, paved road, if you can, if, it, uh, if your budget affords it, do it. And one last thing is the title of the land. How's the title? This is Chinook, and it's got the red stamp on top, so it's the uh, it's the ideal one you want to buy, right? We could put it in the bank if we wanted to. Not that we're going to, but it's available that way. So it's not government land. It's not the green Chinook. It's the red one. So I bought so I bought here this first ten rye, like say four twenty per rye, and uh, I just made a deal with the the one over here for five hundred. So. And the guy behind me here, he wants to, well, he kind of wants to sell, but if he gets the right price, he'll sell. He wants 800 per rye for this entire field behind me, which is, uh, I think, quite a bit more than what I want to spend. And uh, I really don't want to buy that much more land. So, of course, I did a lot of improvements to, to, this, to this farm also. And I think I'll talk about that with you guys next time. That's a bit of a long video. But here in... Here in Linton, up here in Canchanabry, pop up Poom District. Really good farmland in the area that I'm at. Uh, you should be paying right around 500. And uh, other areas of Thailand, I'm not too sure about. But I could just tell you this if you're, if you're looking to have a farm and you're looking to have a successful farm, then you know, really inspect the land, inspect the dirt, the water, inspect everything. Just don't jump into it your homework on it look how other farms are around the around the area that you're trying to buy and let that be a gauge for you if you're looking for a good farmland so anyway guys i hope this helps you out on uh, where to be at on good land and be entitled correctly and whatnot good little tip so anyways next time uh we'll talk about what it cost me to build that uh that modern looking house behind me it's all steel and it's got the loft home and uh, what it cost me to put this farm in, irrigation and getting the backhoe to put all the hills up, plant the trees correctly. So we'll talk about that next time. Anyways, guys, if you made it this far, give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll talk about the cost of the home next time. See ya.